Hey, sweetie. No. Oh. Remember Stewie the Caracal? The adorable cat that wanted to suckle on my arm. <laughs> well, he has a twin brother named Scratch. Oh, big, huge. I'm used to seeing the females, not the males. I can't tell them apart except from their behavior. I just rub all over you. But now you see why the one's called Scratch. The next time I volunteered at Running Wild Conservation, I spent some time with Scratch to enrich his life and mine. This was the last time I got to enrich their lives before they released into the wild. I like doing introductions and meet and greets with animals before doing any activity. It helps assess the mood and set the right tone. It's kinda ironic, but Scratch gives me a rubbing, letting me know he's enjoying my company, as well as a little scent marking to claim me as his for the day. All right, a little uh, careful playtime, hopefully. Ball on a stick. It's time to play. Fishing for caracals isn't all that hard, as long as you have the right kind of bait. I think the ball on the string works the best. Come on, Scratchy, get it! Whoa, look at that! Whoa. Amazingly, caracals can leap 10 feet in the air without a running start. It's why they're such good birders. I think it's really cool they know this is a game and can enjoy the enrichment. Look at that big jaws too. Look at that, so opens really a wide angle. I think Scratch is waiting for the ball to die. Enrichment comes in many forms. For Scratch, he enjoys a little human and toy interaction. But even chasing a toy helps prepare him for a future release into the wild. It may not be the real thing, but it's exercise and helps build basic hunting skills. Many a wild bird has been caught by these predators. Their leftover feathers in the enclosures are proof. There's limited interaction with the caracals, but when there is, it's the animal's choice. What a friendly animal. I think it's a beach cat last time I was here. He didn't care about it. Whoa! That's not a tennis ball. Maybe he should be renamed Scratch, Cuddle, and Bite. It's like all cats like bearded hair. <laughs> no harm done. I understand Scratch enjoys bearded chins. But with most all of these cats, it's feeding time when they get the most serious. Okay, okay, okay. Come here, come here. So let me, uh, let me grab one. Here, here. There you go, sweetie. That's yours. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. These two are just beautiful cats, incredible. I mean, rubbing against me, I feel their strength, you know. That, that small of an animal is just incredible strength already. You might not believe it, but Stewie and Scratch aren't growling at me. In their minds, they're in competition for food between each other. They're close to becoming adults. Both male and female caracals live solitary lives, which means they would naturally segregate themselves in the wild. Stewie and Scratch were purchased from a breeder to prevent them from becoming pets. Now, 
they're one step closer to being freed and released into the wild. Since the recording of this video, Running Wild Conservation has received the release paperwork for Stewie and Scratch. After their permits were in order, this is their release onto a 100,000 acre Big Five Game Reserve in South Africa. Look how well their fur color blends in with the environment. They were meant to be free in a place like this. They've since been spotted several times and doing well in their newfound freedom. Please check out runningwildconservation.org and consider volunteering or donating to this special cause, a breeding project to save an endangered species, the cheetah.